Hey, the war injured here, Fury 3, Hades Wastes, Blue Team. We have Dr. Eatrogenic as a tech marine, starts off range combat, puts us a good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Get into some melee combat too, alongside Jambu is a warlock melee spellcaster that can leap into combat with some powerful disruption support and offense. And a funny hat, rather off the blue team, Techno is a plague champion, starts off range combat with a damage over time, Bolter can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair but is very slow, not big on personal hygiene. Broodwitch on the red team here is a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fights in melee combat begins with a refractor shield, that's a wavy sword around, as you can see, alongside Ebo with a chaos sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with awesome battlefield manipulation and a bit of support too, begins in melee combat. And rather us off is Man of War, surely Orc of War, with a war boss, melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. Hades Waste then. We have these two natural victory points north and south pretty close to each other and as you can see a pretty clear path between them so we might see a lot of decaps which I think is pretty fun. Play champion wants to sit back and uh, worship here. There we go. Wait for the orcs to approach and do your thing. Looks like Eatrogenic has been forced off the west side getting 2v1. Jambu arriving a little bit late and now doesn't want to fight. Eatrogenic I believe means it means like illness brought about by bad medical procedures or or something like that. West side will now turn red. Jambu needs to bide his time. Maybe come support over here. Heretic's getting stuck in. Slugger's taking on two of them. Here's the second heretic squad. Another Doom Blast. Slugger's doing incredibly well to uh, draw fire that long and actually get away there. I think the Orcs are going to get a decap on the VP very early. Warboss trying to get a model off the CSM. Is this hit going to do it? Boom. Yes, it does. And the Plague Champion can't really do much here. Oh, wow. There's a Destructor flying in from the Warlock. And a good flank. This could be very nasty. Banshees on retreating Shooter Boys. Very nearly took them out. I don't think they're going to finish them off. Banshee's sidearms aren't the best. Those shooter boys barely escaped down to seven hit points there. We do have a shuriken cannon on the field for Jambu. Double heretics for Ebo. Also for Techno. What about Broodwitch? We got a Sentinel ground pound already up. Eatrogenic yeah, going for double tactical marines here. I imagine Broodwitch is going to get a heavy weapon squad, which means Eatrogenic yeah, will most likely follow up with an assault squad, but that's going to that's going to be a pretty slow, pretty slow going. I think Broodwitch might have the edge over on this west side for a little while. Unless the scouts can get in around and do some stuff with their grenade. Chaos Sorcerer with a good special attack on the Banshees. Heretics are in there. Banshees not wanting to take that fight. That was double Heretics coming in. Another good Destructor. Can they follow it up though? Shuriken setting up right in the face of those Heretics. They are going to get shredded. That was such a risky approach by Ebo. Did the heretics get away? Looks like they are going to get away. Look at this. Plague Sword already up for the Plague Champion. Got his black grenades too. The Plague Sword creating some orky zombies there. Also ignores melee resistance, which is a big deal. The only weapon in the game, as far as I know, that ignores melee resistance. And of course, down he goes. As I was saying, how good his weapon is. Sorcerer's got a bunch of XP already. Doom Bolts might have done some work. The Atrogenic gets the his wreck point uncapped and some power bashing too. Solid start for Broodwitch and here comes the heavy weapon squad. Now does Eatrogenic get the assault squad or maybe does he get snipers going or something? 416 to 499. multi lizard turret is up. Ebo is over here too. Haven't seen much of Jambu over here. I guess we did see that Destructor fly out. And some good work from the Shuriken. Here comes some flanking Orcs though. Lots of Daka. These guys with their big shooters and their knob leader are really pumping out some piercing DPS. Banshee's getting in. Warshout forces the retreat, which is understandable. And the right thing to do. They now bait out the stump. Really good Banshee play from Jambu so far. Not sure they're going to get the kill. Warboss might want to get some spiky armor up because there's 
Heretics running around and he's very well handled so far. Banshee's aspect of fleetness going to get revived here from the Warlock, which should level him to two. There it is. Tech Marine in retreat has the Mastercrafted Bolter. Very solid weapon. Never really a bad choice. Stomp forces the retreat there. Every weapon squad set up towards the west side of the VP. We have vestments of the warp for the Chaos Sorcerer, you can tell because of that up arrow indicator. Now he's gone down. I believe he ordered to add Sword of Flame. An awesome, a really strong light grenade throw there from the Dying Plague Champion. Uh, wiped out some of Ebo's stuff. Also forced his allied Banshees to run away, but they'll be okay. Ebo now down to just two units on the field. And Techno got away just fine, I think, apart from the Plague Champion himself. But he's twitching. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Stormboy's on the field for Man of War. Not moving right now. More pressure on the west side from Brubwich. We do see an Assault Squad. This should start to turn things around for Eatrogenic. Can be aggressive. Jump onto the back lines. Even if they draw the stomp, they'll be fine. No catechins for Brubwich. We'll have to engage counter initiate the assault squad with the commissar and uh, with double tacks and the tech marine shooting at the commissar he's not going to last very long trying to shoot down the sentinel here though there's a jump on the heavy weapon squad we might see the power sword now from the lord commissar lots of las guns right now tactical marines getting into close combat with the guardsmen but they're being shot up pretty badly here down goes the multi laser turret. I believe it was scuttled by Brudwich or Salvage, whatever you want to say. The Commissar doing some work, trying to get a model off these tactical marines, but I think they're going to get away yet. Assault squad making a big difference in that push. Big, big difference. Sluggers with their burners. What about Mr. Warboss? Nope, he's almost level 3, but no war gear. Contested power. These guys having a really good look at it. What am I going to do, fellas? Nope. Cap it? Maybe? Yes. Maybe? Yep. There we go. Eventually they start capping. Big champion is still down. So Dakar on the Tech Marine's face. Needs to back off. There's a Shuriken to cover his retreat though. Warboss eventually, there we go, does get suppressed. Warboss needs to be careful. Yeah, just took his... I could see that happening. He was waiting for the Storm Boys to jump. Just took his eyes off the Warboss there, I think. They did get the jump, but the war boss also went down. That was the high-powered shot from the Master Coffee Bolt you saw there. Banshee's getting in. So Dakar on their faces. There's Coruscating Flame on the CSM, though. Banshees do get away with only one model loss. Again, good usage by Jambu. Got in and got out. Did a little bit of damage, distracted things. 287 to 470. Heretics. Going for a triple cap here for the blue team. Big champion gets revived by the Warlock. No. By the Tech Marine. Warlock's over here jumping on CSM. Ebo's heretics, where are they? Coming back out of base. Not sure what they're going to do here. Going to get a full power bash, I think, the blue team. And there's some Nurgle worship too to heal up the Plague champion. Chimera on the field for Broodwitch though. Plague Marines now for Ebo, trying to recover in Tier 2. Weird Boy for Man of War and a Blood Crusher for Techno. Going to get very frantic very quickly, I feel like. Storm Boy Zombie. These guys are power melee units. There is the knob leader. Black Grenade misses. Zombie blows up, which is fine. I believe when a zombie blows up, it both counts as a kill and a loss on the stats at the end. Something like that. Something weird going on. Warlock getting in on these fellas. Took a while to retreat, but they eventually do. So the Chimera able to operate these side turrets when they've got units inside. Sentinel with a missile launcher. Sword Squad jumping in. They do have a melted bomb. But can they follow it up with anything? 
There's the melter bomb thrown in. Gonna get a rear armor hit too. Wow, got the Chimera solo one hit point on this thing. They've got to go after it. It's being repaired now though. Sentinel now needs to be careful. Goes down in seconds. Took his eyes off it for a moment. Looking after this Chimera here. Heretics do escape. Plague Marines now in play. With that snaring missile launcher blowing up on death. Well, Commissar, that was Inspire Terror, which executes an enemy unit. And debuffs them, I guess. They've got some red, red debuff circles over there. 287 to 304, Lord Commissar did go down. Meanwhile, mid, blood pressure causing some problems. Charging into those shooter boys so that they stop capping. And start smacking them too. Look at that. Might chase them into base even. What do we have? Tank busters, yep. Tank busters for Man of War. we got a weird boy going on too. Falcon in play now for Jambu. Big help on this west side. Decent damage all around and the uh, infield reinforcements not bad either. Double tactical marines with sergeants. Trading fire with guardsmen. Not a super efficient trade for the tactical marines. Especially when these guys have plasma guns. But there is the assault squad difference. Jumping into suppression. The... Uh, Warlock has the grenade icon, which means he has his Witchblade of Furnace. Blue team are going to take the west side, I think. But for how long? Because there's still a bunch of stuff here. Mark of Corn CSM getting stuck in. Where's the Sorcerer himself? He's right there. Getting in on the Bright Lance. Almost takes it out, too. We've got some Circle of Summoning Bloodletters. Gonna take out the Falcon, I think. Yes, they do. Nicely done by Ebo. And Red Team will retake the west side. That was a big, big deal. Taking that thing out that quickly. Tank Buster's getting volleys on the Blood Crusher. It's not going to last too long taking those shots. Needs to tie up the Tank Busters, in fact. Just force them to retreat. That works, too. The War Boss survived. Looks like he's going to be okay. Warp Vomit from the Weird Boy and then... Gets out of there, Man of War struggling to keep Techno at bay with his army of Nurgle stuff. We've got some almost level 3 CSM. Need to be decapping here. There goes a Nurgle Shrine. And we've got some Mark of Corn Havocs. West side, pretty quiet. What do you do now, Blue Team? Looks like going hard on the west side, I think. Are the Eldar turning? Maybe they're going for a flank. Trying an outward flank. Pretty good map to, for setting up those flanks. We now have uh, plasma guns on both of the guardsmen squads, I believe. There's a jump. Melter bomb. Right Lance got a couple of shots in, I think. Well, Commissar's going to get suppressed but not before he uses his inspired, inspired terror to take out an assault marine pretty effective Chimera just backs off gets repaired some really good play here by Broodwitch against two enemies he needs to be careful though Ebo with a Chaos Dreadnought but I think Ebo's helping out Man of War right now Broodwitch staying in play as long as possible might shoot down the tech marine here and does shoot down the tech marine 266, 264, VPs, very, very even. Meanwhile, in the mid. Okay, champions in there, there's the black grenade. Hit his own plague marines. Oh, these are not his own plague marines. These are Ebo's plague marines. Getting in there. Should have gone after the tank buses, I think. Plague champion is going to be persuaded to leave. Chaos Dreadnought should have been smacking him in melee a lot sooner there. Banshee's getting on the Chimera. They don't have the heavy melee weapon because they have aspects of fleetness. But um, there's a Bright Lance there. And down goes the Chimera. Didn't take long. Bright Lances really do pack a punch. Blue team now retaking the west side. Dr. Eatrogenic gets level 4 while he's down. Sorcerer now has 
Sigil of the Rift to help control those setup teams, I suppose, of Jambu. Getting them in all sorts of bad positions. Sluggers are level 2, tier 3 for Broodwitch, tier 3 also for Man of War, Jambu, and Ea Trigenic is already there. Has enough red to drop a venerable dreadnought. One of my favourite units. The Salt Squad getting shut down by the Warp Vomit. Needs to, be, needs to be a little bit closer to them there, I think, before they jumped in. It's hard to uh, judge that kind of distance about when to jump in, how close you should be. You need to get your support in there as soon as possible, obviously. Dreadnought taking shots. That's a Noxious Cloud and Touch of Nurgle on these heretics. CSM run away. Don't think the... no, nope, Dreadnought does not get away. Take a Buster Barrage for some disruption. Everyone at or going tier 3 aside from Ebo. Who just delayed his tier 3 to get that Dreadnought, which didn't do a whole lot of work. Pushed it way too far up there. Especially knowing that the enemy team had a Bright Lance. It's a very risky thing to do. Got fully upgraded guardsmen here with a commissar retinue member, a commissar leader, I should say, and plasma guns. They are packing a punch then at range. Shooting up a warlock, eating a destructor. Out, it's painful. Very painful. Dar Avengers, he just tried to execute the warlock leader there, or the Exarch, but uh, couldn't quite manage it. Stubbornness in play. 264-209. Banshee's on the chase. I don't think it's worth chasing, ladies. Marcus Inc. CSM see them off. But Blue Team retain the west side. Looking relatively solid over there. Drop pot. Oh, Venerable Dreadnought dropped in by Eertrogenic. Instantly sends the Sorcerer flying. Who has the Rod of Warpfire now. Dreadnought just got one hit in and now walks back to safety. Kill some guards on the way, why not? Inspiration on kill from that guy. Can get so awesome when he levels up. See a council on the field now for Jambu. Power melee squad that passively buff nearby allies. Great mobility in general. We'll see what they can do here. A well timed stomp would help. There it is, there's a big stomp, and it's very well timed. Stun, knockback, and damage on the Seer Council, but they do get out of there. Here comes the Venerable Dreadnought. Not the kind of thing you want to be flanking you, really. Who's that red team getting onto that west side pretty hard? Have a Lehman Russ. Some CSM, Lord Commissar goes for the decap. But not before taking out one of those fellows with Inspire Terror. Looks like they're going to get it, the red team here. Blue team got dragged over trying to flank the Orc. Eatrogenic though, getting the natural VP of the red team. Looted tank here for Man of War. What have we got going on? Devastators for Eatrogenic. Maybe a last cannon for this Lehman Russ. Do have the Bright Lance. Need to be careful. 264 to 150 on the VP, 2 to 1 cap. Bashing here are CSM. So they're going to get a full bash. Kicking off though on this VP. Banshee's getting stuck in alongside the Seer Council. They are going to be scary. Almost level 3, there is the level 3. Maybe uh, get some more anti vehicle up, fellas. Havocs do have an auto cannon. Oh, whoa, what happened to those devastators? Oh, they got caught. Look at this. They got caught running out of base. Must have been going to the rally point, and CSM chopped them up. 264 to 114. Power bashing here. Don't want to overextend here, Space Marines. Wow, those guys got turned into bits. 
Techno happy to stay in the field. Auto kind of so freaking scary on that on that Havoc squad. Double cap here for Blue Team. Red Team needs to get something going here. Classic on the field for Blue Ridge soon. Nob squad up now for Man of War. Can they bully things and get them back into this game? Drag them back into this game. Venerable Dreadnought will have fun fighting them. Not sure if it will win, but it'll be a fun fight. Does have the Dark Age of Technology here up to 20, 50 hit points at level 1. Neiman Russ is getting shots with the Vanquisher, which is bad news for a Dreadnought. Need to keep moving, I think, Mr. Dreadnought. There we go. The Doctor knows what he's doing. Oh, wow. Ethereal Slash clearing house, a warp throw into another ethereal slash and then a jump, look at that disruption, that is crazy Nob squad on capping duty no upgrades for these fellas yet but so much red man of war could drop a very nice nuke, Ebo also close to a nuke, so is Jambu great unclean one on the way for techno, in fact hitting the field right now gonna be super fun. A champion does have his fettered armor. There you see the unholy stench suppressing the knobs. Lasts so long as well if the if the squad stays around. Because it actually ticks every few seconds. And a black grenade on retreat for good measure. Really good play from Techno. Doing Nurgle proud. Venerable Dreadnought trying to escape. Blessing of the Omnisire is up and healing him. Or repairing him, I guess. Avatar of Kane for Jambu. They got some heavy hitting stuff out of the blue team. But a knob squad is a knob squad. Those guys still with no upgrades though. Blue team trying to get his VP back. You see Council and Banshee doing some good work, but uh, can they do enough to a Lehman Russ? Ouch, those guys almost whacked by a grenade. Banshees will escape, I think. Probably. Yes. Two tens of 44, two to one cap for the red team being a real back and forth here. Play champions down, just as I said they was doing well. And Warboss is down. Here's the great unclean one. Super unit for chaos, has some nasty abilities and passively damages nearby enemies can um, consume a friendly model to regain some energy which helps because it's got a lot of abilities to use usually it's a heretic just a little snack there's the foul snare uh oh weird boy might go down here massive attack on the retreating weird boy down he goes weird boy explodes on death the more energy he had, the bigger the explosion apparently. Wow, actually hit something there. That's a pretty rare sight to see. He randomly travels around. Would be nice to be able to control that guy. I wonder if that's even possible. Heretics with touch of Nurgle getting in. Grand Clean One might have to fight a knob squad here. And he's far away from his HQ. Very far away. Is that an Eldritch? It is. Uh oh. Grand Team 1, I thought was gonna. I guess it doesn't do friendly fire, right? To vehicles, does it stun friendly vehicles? I thought the Grand Team was gonna get stunned there. That's a rocket run now from Broodwitch. Hit those Dire Avengers pretty well. Venerable Dreadnought is still around. Now level 2. Up to 22, 25 hit points. Got a sink kill on that tank buster. Great and clean one still around too. Sorcery might want to tie those fellas up in close combat. Or just stand there, take the auto cannon to the chest and die. Add Avatar of Cain adding its buff, its own passive buff to help out this Banshee. He's giving him suppression immunity and some other stuff. Man of War, you've got to use your red, buddy. 
He's at 999 red and a war bus has so many ways to use red. How can you be at 999? Chaos Predator on the way for Ebo. Now a D cannon also for Jambu. That was foul snare again. Whenever I use that thing, it bugs out. But I should say the first time I use it, it usually bugs out and then it works. CSMR, they did not escape. Those were Technos. There's a consume. Getting some energy back. I don't think it heals him, it's only energy, I, I think. There's a rocks from Man of War. Now you need to start buffing those knobs with your globals. Knob squad are now. Oh, they're not fully upgraded. They don't have Mina and Greener, which is usually the first thing you'd get. They have their hammers and they have their knob leader. In fact, I don't think it's, it's not that far away from getting another knob squad going. So that might be why he's not purchasing Mina and Greener. It's very expensive to fully upgrade your knob squad. Here they go. Getting a couple of hits in. 187.27. It's been a 1 to 1 cap for a while. There's the 2 to 1 for red. Knob squad in retreat. Not able to stay in the field as long as they usually do. Level 5 war boss. Helping out with this revive. Uh oh. Got knocked over but does does get revived. The Lord Commissar got it. Warlock not afraid to engage this war boss here. Gonna get a Mark of Corn Chaos Predator from Ebo. Desperate stuff at the end. Blue team trying to get in on this VP. Lots of Dakar on this avatar. Oh, it's flash kits now for Man of War. These guys still don't have Mina and Greener. And he has so much red to use on their frenzies. Mismanagement of that red resource, I think, from Man of War. A little bit of mismanagement there. War Boss uses a stomp to escape. Boss Pole is in play here. Gonna help in his big late game fights. Man of War does need repairs for sure. Is there anything on the field to repair this guy? Oh, Broodrich has Guardsman, but they're all there over here. We have a Land Raider Edema to deal with from EA Trogenic. Can they get their 2 to 1 cap finally? If they can cap this west side, it's going to be tough for the red team to retake it because of the D cannon and the Land Raider there, but this is a rocks. Land Raider took a while to get moving. Only got hit. Only got hit by one big one, I think. Lima Russ is chasing it down though. Now taking shots at the uh, dreadnoughts. Meanwhile, in the mid, massive amount of action here. Because of the way these VPs are set up, we're seeing more action in the mid than we are on the contested VP late game. Which I'm quite enjoying. Orcs getting shot to pieces there. More boss fighting a great and clean one. You just don't have the. The hit points to do that, my friend. Down he goes. Grand Trimon has been pretty awesome so far. Still, though, a 2-1 to -one cap for the red team. They are holding on here. Chaos Predator for Techno with the Mark of Corn. Evo also Mark of Corn. It's a lot of tanks. One goes down. That was Techno's tank going down. Let's get another one, though. Land Raid is pretty low, but it's helping the push on this west side. There's the Eldar melee force getting stuck in. Banshees. See a council coming up behind. Dreadnought is getting pretty low. That's a Nurgle nuke. And a Zinchian Imperial Abyss too. Nukes flying out. Not sure what kind of damage they did. It didn't seem like they did a whole lot. Looking at the rosters. Maybe Ebo lost his tank in that um, nuke. Here comes the Nobsquad again, and now they have Mina and Greener. This might be a finished off great unclean one here. Can a tank, can a looter tank keep on chasing? Oh, Nobsquad are on it. Nobsquad are on it. They're going to take it out here. Which should give them a big chunk of XP, I would think. Yeah, there we go. 
Warboss got a big chunk as well. Nob's got almost hit level 2. Now they're getting the hell away from this guy because he will explode. Dealing unbelievable amounts of damage to nearby enemies and healing nearby allies. Nothing affected by it there. 2-1 to one now for Blue Team. 65 to 20. It's so close. Baneblade on the way for Broodwitch. Not sure if we're going to have time to see that thing in action. Techno looking very depleted here. That tank needing repairs. That's going to keep the Plague Champion busy for a while. Which means he can't get out there and cap with his Plague Fist. We've got a war boss capping. Red team might get a triple cap here. There's the double. And they are trying to cap the west side. Well, they were. Here comes the Lord Commissar, I think, to take over. There we go. Land Red is so, so low. Ima Rush should be chasing that thing down. There is a Last Cannon here, which is making it think twice. Last Cannon is going to get shot down, though. No, down goes a Land Raider, too. Wow. Big, big little engagement there on the west side. A big little engagement. Yeah, that's right. Blue team getting on the red team's natural though. And getting their own back 14 to 14 double cap for red. It's so close. The Atrogenic needs to try and get something on the field. Just get some Devastators up or something. Something quick. Four VPs remaining. Three. Is this it? Blue team stop it. With a 1 to 1 cap. And now they grab this for a 2 to 1. One to eleven. Can the blue team hold on here? It would be unbelievable if they did. With those losses from EA Trogenic. I thought that was a nail in the coffin there, but can they hold on to this VP? We got Wraith God, we got an Avatar. We got melee Eldar stuff. And there it is. They did hold on. I wasn't even paying attention to the VPs. One VP remaining blue team. Take it. EA Trogenic actually got some terminators in there, as you saw. Late game. Oh, an awesome match. Level 5 Tech Marine was down at the end. We had a level 10 Warlock. Did some awesome work. Shooting out his magic Eldar crap there. What's he got going on? Providence, Warp Throw, Witch Raid of Kurnus, all the good stuff. Level 7 Plague Champion. Also played it pretty well, I think. Level 8 Commissar. Did some work. Power Sword, Emperor's Wrath, and the Flat Jacket. Lots of Inspire Terrors. In fact, I think he was using one right here. That looks like the animation for it. Ebo. Struggled mid-game, but came back pretty strong. Did some good work. Level 8, Vestments of the Warp, Sigil of the Rift, and Rod of Warp Fire. And we had a level 6 war boss. Very strange usage of the knobs. Took a while to get Mina and Green. I didn't use the red throughout the game that I saw. Power Claw, Cyborg Implants, and Boss Bow, but it's still a pretty scary war boss. They have it guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time